Finally, a memory of the happy days of childhood with that famous child impersonator of radio and stage, Harry Hemsley. Daddy! Daddy! That's Winnie's voice. What do you want, Winnie? Where are you? Here I am on the settee. Well, uh, what do you want, dear? I want you to show me the pictures in this book. Oh, can't you see I'm busy reading, dear? Can't you look at the pictures by yourself? I don't know what they mean. Hand me the book, dear. That's right. Now you can see what this picture is, can't you? It's a picture of a little girl. Well, what's she doing? She's not doing anything. Yes, she is. She's sitting down. Well, you know as much as I do, then. Why do you want me to explain the pictures to you? I don't understand the writing. What does it say? That's the title of the picture. The Age of Innocence. Well, what age is she? Doesn't say. How silly. The Age of Innocence, and it doesn't say her age. Who painted the picture? I'm not quite sure, dear. The artist's name is Obliterated. I see. Mr. Obliterated painted it. Turn over. Who's that? That's Charles I. Who's Charles I? Oh, Charles I was at one time King of England. Well, what was he the other time? He was the king who had his head cut off. Who's stuck it on again? This picture was painted before he had his head cut off. Turn over. I want to see him with his head cut off. Afraid there isn't a picture of that, dear. Now look at this picture. Who's that? That's the blue boy. Haven't you ever heard of the blue boy? Yeah. Little boy blue, come back your horn. No, no. That's little boy blue. This is quite another person. The blue boy. Well, they're both blue. Yes, but uh, one is only nursery rhyme. Whereas the other actually lived... Well, where did he live? Oh, does it matter where he lived? Of course it does. What was the name of the street and what was the number of the house? Oh, you're being unnecessarily inquisitive now. Turn over. Now, this picture is called The Laughing Cavalier. Oh, why is he in fancy dress? Is he going to a dance? No, no. People used to dress like this many years ago. Doesn't look as busy laughing, does he? No, dear. I, I agree with you there. It's more of a smirk than a laugh. Smirk? Haven't you ever heard of a smirk? Yes, he was a jockey. Turn over. Ooh, doggies. Yes, dogs after Lancia. Where is he? Where's who? Lancia. You said the dogs were after him. Not after him, I mean the dogs were painted by Lancia. What colour? Uh, Lancia didn't paint the dogs. He painted the picture of them. You'll be driving me crazy soon. How soon, Daddy? What does the writing say? Dignity and impudence. Funny names for dogs. Which is dignity, which is impudence? This one represents dignity and this one impudence. Well, the names are too long. I'm going to call this one bigger and this one imp. Now, this picture is called The Parson's Daughter. Don't want to see it. Why not? I'd rather see the doggies. Oh, go and look at the doggies by yourself. Now, I dare say you are under the impression that I am entertaining a small child. As a matter of fact, there's no child in the building. I've simply been talking to myself to, and to convince you. I'm going to give you a little item. It's where a father is talking to his little daughter at the dining table. Daddy, I want some mustard. You don't like mustard, dear. Oh, but I do. Oh, I do. Well, put your tongue out and I'll give you a little. There, do you like it? Oh, yes. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, it is lovely. Oh, oh it is lovely. Well, hand your plate up and I'll give you a nice portion. There you are. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. Well, go on, eat it. No, not yet. Not yet? No, not yet. Why not? Now, I I'm waiting for it to get cold. 